I like the kids to look good. I want them to look like a million bucks when we walk out that door. Yeah, it's pretty crazy in the morning. It can be an absolute nightmare. I like everything to be perfect, I think. When we got upstairs, I noticed that Mum had picked out the exact same sweater for all three of the girls. Itty, itty. Oh, you look very pretty in this. It's just like Mum. I picked out their white sweaters because that's what I wanted to wear. I want them to be the same. Bottom line, I want them to look great all the time. Itty, itty. Mommy has the same sweater on, and it doesn't itch Mommy. So, Miley, you want to listen to mommy. Stand up. <laughs> Go to your bedroom. When Miley was, you know, throwing a fit about the sweater, I mean, it did not surprise me. That's what she does all day long. You are messing up your hair. <laughs> Leah, can you hold her hands? <laughs> okay, sit up big so I can do your hair again. had more than enough time to observe, so why don't we sit down and have a family meeting? Okay. All right. Do you tolerate behaviour that is beyond me? What is going on with the morning routine? It took you over three hours to get the girls ready. Unbelievable. Yeah, I just, I'm, I like everything to be perfect. Now tell me, let's talk about your perfection. What is perfect? What's enough? Your perfection is having your daughters look like dollies. And having to clean and keep it perfect keeps you up to what time in the morning, Tammy? I don't know. Sometimes till 2 o'clock in the morning. 2 o'clock in the morning. So, where's time for you and Sean? I miss you. I hope you don't feel pressure for me to keep everything so perfect. It's going to be pretty hard to change me, but I'm willing to try. <laughs> it upset me when Joe was starting to criticize me about how perfect my house is, because that's just the way I am. Are you prepared to put the hard work in and change this around for the better, for your family? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's get working. Bright and early in the morning, I arrived to help Tammy get the girls dressed. Morning. Good morning. Fresh morning today, Mum. Mm-hmm. I noticed that a big problem in the morning was that Mum chose the girls' clothes, and I didn't like that. So I'm introducing the A and B technique, where Mum will pick out two outfits for the girls, and they will choose which one they're going to wear for the day. So Tammy still gets the level of control, but the girls get to feel like they choose their outfits too. This is outfit A. This is your B shirt, honey. Okay, let's get out the, the jeans that you wanted them to wear. Malia, this is your B, OK? Say to Miley, these are your choices. Miley, these are your choices. This is A and this is B. Malia, this is your A and this is your B. Which one would you like to wear today? And the girls hid. They hid underneath the covers. They weren't having anything to do with this. OK, so Miley now needs to make a choice. So if you can tell her. Miley, you, you make a choice out to of... make a choice out of A or B. A or B. But Miley didn't put up a fight for too long, and sooner or later she complied. Miley started to get herself dressed for the first time all by herself. Good job, you are so big, Miley. You can do it. Miley really surprised me. I didn't think she'd ever, you know, quit the fight. I was completely, completely amazed. So together, you guys are a team, right? All right, together, you're going to deal with this. It's your choice if you get dressed or if you take a time out. You need to get dressed by yourself. Malia was a little bit hesitant, but when she saw Miley get herself dressed, she soon did the same. Wow. It was a really good morning today. The children ultimately got themselves dressed and uh, have moved on to breakfast. I'm incredibly happy for Tammy and Sean because they've managed to pull off together this morning routine. And thanks for dressing yourself today. Yeah, all right.